Really? Really, really, really? I tried it for like three weeks. Folding this hand would be completely yeah. right? For not three weeks. No, I mean, I tried. Sorry. I, I call. Tried. It sounds like I'm dead. Big, hey, big bet over you. Sounds like I'm dead. I'll run twice if you run. Yeah, no, Here we go. Oh. Oh. Hey. Yo, yo. Can I change seats? <laughs> and look who's going to get in our game <laughs> now. <laughs> Yeah, Maybe right. the Y'all most wide-open player What's in the up, world, buddy? Gus Hansen. How much are we talking? There's going to be some gambling Yo. now. Holy sh... Gus wow. is known for playing any I'm two cards at any ball. time. Here we go. <laughs> Lockdown <laughs> poker, you know? You can just watch the watch. He, he want to have more than Dawn, so he bring five. And all the players Gus, are happy to see him. Except Corey and Amnon, they don't know what's going on. Exactly. Yeah, no, I know, I know. I get my share of that 5,000. Corey and Amnon don't know yeah, whether to be happy that Gus is here or not happy. Playing tight? What's, what's your style going to be today? Oh, it, it kind of depends. Well, not anymore. He's here. Gus, they got me. They got you? Gus, we're 150. Like Losing 100 oh, I can, I can come in here, right? Yeah. Hansen sits down with $400,000 in front of him. Oh and there's going to be some serious poker from this point on. Hansen with an 8 7 of spades. It's gonna raise here to 4,200. That's pure Gus Hansen. Good thing Gus is here. Now you guys can loosen up a little. I didn't say thick it, Gus. The Lesher calls. He is only playing aces. And because it's Gus who raised, Antonio might re raise with an ace. Seven deuce. Queen of spades. The book says to do a certain thing. What book? <laughs> you don't want to read that book. A majority of the books. The book well, says to fold. The book says to fold. Of course, he's talking so about Harry Potter and so. the Goblet of Fire, I think. <laughs> yes. Oh, monster flop for Ellie. Ellie flops a full house. Gus Hansen's got an open end straight. And Antonio is missed. Don't waste it to you. Oh, five, six, seven, yeah. Here comes Hansen. Huh? Yeah, I know. He bets eleven thousand dollars. Did you notice Ellie had a lot to talk about after that flop with Doyle about his prop? Yeah. It became very interesting about who hit his prop and who didn't hit his prop. Ellie was talking about everything but the flop. Right. And he calls here. I was calling your ass. Antonio throws his hand away. So put it down, please. You says he thinks Daniel. Gus is bluffing, and he's right. <laughs> Gus is bluffing with an open and straight draw. King of Spade on the turn. Check. Bad card for Gus Hansen makes him a flush draw also. And he's drawn dead. That's right. If he hits his straight or his flush, that would be terrible. Ellie doesn't have that much money left. So Gus might... Make a move right here. What Gus is thinking about now is what does Ellie have? Did Ellie call him with a pair of fives? Hand like ace five? Will Ellie throw away a hand like a pair of sevens if he bets? There's a king out there. Hansen bets 34,300. It's too much. I'm all in. I don't think I got 35. Oh. Basically, he oh. wanted to put Ellie all in. Right. Probably a pretty stupid bet. <laughs> You're right, Gus. It was a stupid bet. <laughs> I call it whatever it is. <laughs> you have no win. Okay. We. Wow, what what you have a six? We. Less. It's less. How do you flop a set with pocket 30. fives? What's that like? 30. 32 5. But if Ellie would have had a hand like Ace 5 or a pair of sevens or a hand like that, Ellie probably would have laid it down. The bad news is you're drawing dead, no? You guys enjoy yourselves. 
Everybody except Antonio just said he's not going to do it. And no more calling with Ace Queen for Gus Hansen. Now he's on the button. He raises the 4500. And Barry Greenstein's not fooling around anymore. <laughs> he's going all in with a pair of tens. Barry's been short stacked for a while. Go, go, go. Don't come, don't come. Leave it there. Probably the go, best go, go, hand he's go, go, seen go. in a long time. Goes all in with it. Gus calls immediately with Ace Queen. And we're going to have what we call and what every other poker show calls a race. And so far, Barry's still in front. Ace 7 3 on the flop. Four spades on the turn. Deal a deal quickly. Gus needs an Ace or Queen on the river. I can't take the pressure. It's not much. You got only 20. Deal is slowed down for the river card here. <laughs> Two of diamonds. Okay. I can take Barry it doubles up. <laughs> that was it. I didn't have another buy. <laughs> That's a lot of pressure. That's right. That's right. They're going to go Barry's saying he didn't have any more bullets in his gun. That was it for him if he lost that pot. Wow. Action falls around to Esfandiari with his ace queen. Out of position against Gus and Daniel Negrano. That's exactly what Antonio is thinking about. He's out of position against Gus and Daniel, and he's throwing away ace queen. Not going to put in 4,400 more. And Hansen calls the 2,900. Yeah, probably not. Flop comes nine, six, five. Wow. Oh. Both players have flop sets. <laughs> Daniel's got three oh, sixes. Gus has got three fives. Gus is going to lose a lot of money in this hand. Only thing that could save him is maybe a seven or an eight coming up and slowing down the action on the turn. The ground about eight thousand dollars. Good morning, Dr. Gray. In the middle of this hand, David Gray has showed up and starts to do his dance moves behind Gus. <laughs> this guy has a cartoon Gus is trying to figure out what to do here. He's going to raise. raise here. That's the right move. You don't want someone coming in here with a hand like 9-8. He raises the $26,000. And Daniel is just going to call. He's going to let a card come off. I like this move by Daniel. Gus is convinced he has the best hand now. Turns another five. Wow. Gus has made quads. <laughs> Gus Hansen has quads, and Daniel Negrano has sixes full. Unbelievable. This is trouble. Trouble in River City for Daniel Negrano. The previous hand, I had the queen nine deuce. So I won 21, and I lost four, so I won 17. The other players seem oblivious to what's going on in this hand. Hansen bets 24,000. I think Daniel Legrano is putting Gus Hansen on a hand like 7-5 or 8-5. He's putting Gus Hansen on 3-5s right now. And he's thinking about, how do I extract the most money from Gus Hansen here? Gus is trying to appear as calm as he can with quads. He's not giving anything up. The ground calls at 24,000. Daniel's slow playing his full house. Daniel thinks he has the best hand. And the river's at eight. Both players like that card. Both players want the other player to make a straight. And Gus checks his quads. Great play by Gus. Now, if Gus did have 7-5, Gus has made a straight here. The main thing is Daniel feels he has the best hand. And there's no reason he shouldn't feel he has the best hand. He's feeling the right amount to bet is $65,000. $65,000.
Ninety-six. I'm all in. Huh? I'm all in. How much more is it? That shocked Daniel. Wow. Count, count, count his. Wasn't expecting it. The pot now stands at about $400,000. Even without Daniel calling, this stands as the biggest pot in the history of high-stakes poker. And if Daniel calls, it'll be almost 600000 Unbelievable. Daniel knows that Gus is a loose player. But I don't think he thinks he's loose enough to make this kind of bet on a bluff. How much? 167. Daniel's got to know that Gus has a hand. What he's trying to figure out is, does it beat his hand? He might have the nuts. You're missing a big pot here, Eli. It's a big pot here. You just raised me 167. It's a big pot. I better have something if I'm going to call it, right? Daniel pointing out to Ellie and Doyle that something's going on here. Yeah, you think they'd know. Oh, you can do it better. Of this Buddy, this is if, if I'm if I lose this pot, it's a cooler. So can't feel too bad. If I lose this pot, it's a pretty bad cooler. Pocket fives, pocket nines, maybe like pocket eights. Ooh, that'd be sick too. That would be sick. Well, you're right, Daniel. It's one of the above. <laughs> yeah. What else would Gus Hansen be raising you $165,000 with? And Daniel decides to call. Shows in the five. You had one out. <laughs> you I believe you. I believe you. I, I wasn't too happy on the flop. But once the turn came up. Wasn't too happy. Meanwhile, he rakes in a pot over $575,000. You're looking at a man who just lost almost $300,000 cash. Uh. 1, 20, 40, 50, 60. <laughs> 67. I'll let you go for the 700. I already paid it, didn't I? Check the river. How about that hand changes? If he bets the river, if he bets the river, that's your race. Tough one. I was worried a little bit. I was worried a little bit, but I wasn't exactly going to throw it away. Gus Hansen's just won. Wow. That's pretty sick. Almost a $600,000 pot. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sick. And he's real excited about it. Yeah, he yawns and takes in the money. <laughs> he's going to raise to 2100. 21. Hanson will call with his queen nine of spades. The ground is in with pocket sevens. And it looks like Zyman's going to play. Oh. Corey Zeidman, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> and he's a stud player playing <laughs> hold him over here. <laughs> Remember that song? Sure, I love it. Leslie Gore? Oh, no. No, Shelly Fabrice. Ah, uh, who could forget? Flop comes 876. Daniel's got three sevens. And Johnny Angel needs a nine for a straight. I mean, Corey Zeidman needs a nine for a straight. <laughs> Gus Hansen has got an open end straight with his nine. And he bets $7,500. And Dan's just going to call and slow play his set. Mm -hmm. It's brutal how many flops come eight high or nine high, and I know we're here to flop. Zeidman's gone. Brunson's gone. And let's see if Gus Hansen can catch a 5 or a 10 here and take the lead. Two of spades on the turn. Well, that gives him a flush draw also. Now, Gus Hansen has an open end straight and a queen high flush draw. And Daniel Negrano's got a set of sevens. And it looks like Gus is going to bet. I have to believe that Daniel feels he has the best hand now. 22,000. 22,000 from Hansen. Even though Gus has sort of trampled Daniel in this game, Daniel, in my mind, has got to believe he's got the best hand. Daniel calls a 22. Daniel is giving Gus a big draw here. Gus could win with a 5, a 10, or a spade. Oh, a 7 on the river for Negrano. And now Negrano's a quad man. We need David Gray to go behind him and do his little dance. <laughs> And let's see if Gus tries to bluff here. Gus has got queen high. No. Daniel's hoping that Gus has a hand like a pair of nines. And we'll call this bet. Daniel bets $52,000. But Gus has queen high. 
And Dan's yeah. not going to get paid off for his quads <laughs> like <laughs> Gus did with his. Yeah. Hey, Hebrew, Gus has given Daniel a brief moment of hope here that he might call. Yeah. All right. Thank nope. you. Give him luck. So yeah. sick. I was, why don't you have pocket eights this time so I can get you right back? Why don't you have pocket eights this time? Oh. Wow. Oh, I thought I was going to get you right back, baby. Wow. Oh. Daniel shows the quad wow. sevens. And Gus was actually thinking there that maybe Daniel was making a move. Why can't you have pocket eights that time, son? Thank you, Daniel. 10-7 for Daniel. I once heard him say that's his favorite hand. And Gus is priced in with a 6-3 offsuit. Sometimes getting priced in can work. Gus has flopped bottom two pair, and Daniel has top pair. Daniel checked, and Gus checks. Nobody else has anything, and they check. Well, there's an all-purpose queen for you. Both Andreas and Tom Juan now have queens, and Ellie's got a flush draw. Everybody's got something. And the man with the best hand, two pair, bets 11-1. Possible here he might get three callers. I don't think Daniel's going to call when it gets to him with his tens. Juan calls. Ellie looks like he's calling with his flush draw. But he thinks better of it. Thinks somebody might have a higher flush draw. And Andreas makes his move. Thinks he might have the best hand and wants to end it right here. I'm not folding. <laughs> <laughs> you actually could. I try sometimes this kind of move. Commit yeah. myself with nothing. Yeah. Gus puts on his Popeye face. What's going on here? Well, i never seen anything like this in my life. Guy comes over here from Norway, another Scandinavian. I'm all in. All in. Gus goes all in. That's cool. And Andreas calls. Andreas is the one that's all in. What do we got, guys? I hope I'm ahead. If I'm not ahead, it's over. I mean, it, you, they allow us to deal twice or no? Okay, you want to deal it twice? Okay. All right. They're going to deal the last card twice. With Andreas six, three, thinks then. he's got eight outs. Wow. We know that three of those cards are dead. Ten. He's really only got five outs. They're going to twice? Twice, yes. They're going to deal the river twice. Each will be good for half the pot. It's always good to win the first one. <laughs> that is very That's the best true. way to do it if you run it twice for I'll sure. <laughs> I think a queen 10 was very unlikely. Yeah, too. Because, I mean, why would he check a 10? That nine does not help Andreas. Gus queen, wins the first the one. The one is okay as well. Queen six is like... Andreas got one more chance. Catch a 10, a queen, or an ace. Not there. No, he's covering. Yeah, I got it. Gus is going to slow play his queens here and just call. King 10. Whee! Oh. Show the camera. Then he sell me a hundred. I looks like you don't need him so much. Yeah, because you don't think I ever want to buy. red, yeah. And then I'll get it to you the moment you. All right. Okay, buddy. Right. Letting Jason in here with Jack 10. Eli, you, know. you don't want pot either. What are you talking about? I said you don't want pot either. What are you yeah, you're right. I need to. I need some. Daniel, the original razor flops top two pair. Oh, there you go. Then you can buy this cannot be good for Gus. 383 is the number, huh? Can't believe you didn't pay him the 187. Why don't I walk over here for one second? I'll say one thing. This one. 
Gus has to feel that he probably has the best hand here. Raised to 21,000. <laughs> I think it's 21, but... Seriously? Gus is really comfortable right now. Probably thinks Daniel has a pair between eights and jacks. Just don't do it to, like, some random. He's not comfortable anymore. He's hoping Daniel doesn't have aces or kings. You'd love to see the ace, jack of spades in Daniel's hand. All right, I'm all in. <laughs> I mean, I don't think. Nah. Wow. <laughs> against, against I don't think I can. Guys. No, really? You got a lot of these? I, I just of have to. Yeah. Yeah. Snake bit Daniel is afraid of three deuces. So I need more than that. Really? Like, really, really, really? I tried it for like three weeks. Folding this hand would be completely. Yeah, right? For not three weeks. No, I mean, I tried. Sorry. I, I call. Uh, it sounds like I'm dead. Big, hey, big bet over here. Sounds like I'm dead. I'll run twice if you want. Yeah, no, no, no. Dave. Yeah. Twice? Whatever, I'll do four times, whatever you want. I usually do twice. Twice. Gus wants to do it four times, does not want to get shut out in this pot. Such an idiot. But they've agreed to run it twice. These, I mean, that's the only, when you flop top two and it comes like that, and the guy moves in, that's the one you're worried about, right? Or top set. Yeah, that would be bad too. Less likely. Well, if yeah. you lose it twice, I don't think you should play again in the Ever. game show network again. You won't. Oh, you almost. I didn't win one. Yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Ellie awarding the pot to points. Daniel prematurely. It was a good card, though. Gus could still win with the queen. I won one. I can relax. I can go broke. Okay, tuck your money back. Miracle, Daniel does not get drawn out on. Uh, <laughs> Mr. Hansen needs a 10 deuce or a queen to split this pot. Okay. Got, here's one. Uh, 10, 20, 30, we're to 150. Daniel, who was stuck $200,000, is back to even. 